Come on, Lil. There goes Opal. Millie's turn. Her threshold phobia is back. All righty. Have fun. Oh, don't forget the coffee. So uh, no to stay on the boat at least, except this uh, Rosie here in the middle. But Opal and Lily know to stay on the boat and they'll get snacks. And Rosie sometimes disobeys and comes tromping after me, so I have to send her back. So that's the plan. I'm going to use a Mother's Day fly on a six weight and wade barefooted. And it's a great way to spend a Sunday. I'm using uh, Kathy's rod for good luck. Ross. Evolution on a TFO. TICRX with a little clouser, size six. Let's see what happens. It's red, nice red. Sand. Well, 30 minute walk, two hookups, one landed red, and as I was coming back to the boat with Rosie here, thinking it was all over until after lunch, a big old trout passed right between me and the, and the boat. It's just the way it is. Trout are so psychic, they seem to be. They, they'll be close to the boat and you'll not see them or they'll come from a different angle. And it's just the way it is. So. I'm going to go back out and try to be a little more intuitive about it and see what happens. I was going to show you the lady fish. It was a big one. But as I was getting it off the hook, uh, an eight pound trout swam up. I pulled the clouser out and cast it to it. And it didn't see it or didn't like it. So I'm switching heart beating to a Mother's Day fly, which trout tend to really love. So we'll see what happens. Gosh, it was a big fish. They typically come when you least expect it. It's hard to land. They come in pretty fast and then they fool you. Go between your legs or zip away and break the line. He's bigger than I thought. Yes, sir. Nice fish. Look at that trout. Yes, sir. Beautiful trout. Mother's Day fly, after I kind of twitched it a bit. Quite as big as the uh, first one. He's about 24, 25. The first one was a couple inches bigger. So anyway, what a great day. No eight pounder, but they were beautiful fish. Really beautiful, and they're hard fighting. Well, uh, I broke off the trout and I landed her just so she could live. I left the fly in her mouth. 
I'd rather not distress her. So she took off, and about that time, Rosie came up and joined me. We're going back to the boat after the great day. Lower the unit. That's it. That's it. No more fishing. Hey, Opal. Hey, Lily. Good girls. They love to come out in the water. Even though they end up waiting a long time for me. Hey, girl. How you doing? Yeah? Hey, Lily. Yeah. So what was this about? Fished for about three hours on the sand. Good, watch it girls. And I was fishing for big trout and I had four or five shots of big trout. The biggest one I missed because I was hooked up with a ladyfish. Later on I hooked a 26 plus inch and I landed it. And then the reds filled the sand so much that uh, I had to quit casting to them or try not to. And they would take my fly and I would think they would be trout and I'd end up being hooked up for a while. But on the way back to the boat, I hooked up that last nice 24, 25 inch trout. So it was a great day. I don't know how many redfish I caught or could have caught. And two nice trout, and of course I lost and get the trophy, but she's always here. It's a great day on the Lord Laguna, on the sand. There wasn't a boat within a mile of me. And uh, just totally wide open, great fishing.